Hi guys, my name is Yaniana and today this is everything I did to prep for my last year of high school. So, as I just said, this is my last year of high school. I'm officially a senior. Um, I'm not very excited about it. We all know if you've been on my channel before, I'm very vocal about how I feel about school. I hate it. Um, I feel like that's a pretty like self-explanatory like comment to make. I'm pretty sure it's kind of 50-50. You either love going to school or you just hate it. I'm on that hate side. So I still like the idea of school. Like, oh, you get new clothes, you get new notebook colors, and you get your hair done, your nails done. Like, I love that. But remembering that you have to walk into a building full of people, yeah, you can cut all that out. But, you know, it's my last year, so I'm just going to try to enjoy it. Um, I'm going to try to enjoy it, honestly. But at the same time, I'm just ready to get out of there because it's not fun for me. I don't know. I just go to learn, and that's it. I had a prep for senior year, like kind of check off, and I pretty much got everything I wanted for senior year to, you know, prepare. So the first thing I got were these Nike shoes. I first saw them on Twitter. I thought they were really cute, like with the high knee white socks. And so I wanted to get them. These are what they look like. I had tried them on in the store and I really liked them. I like how they make my foot look because um, I, I feel like my feet looks kind of big and like tennis shoes. But these actually make my feet look small. They are, I think they're the men's size. Yeah, they're men, five and a half. So, there they are. But for reference, um, in women, I'm like a seven, seven and a half. Just in case, you know, you wanna get these. They are the Nike Air Max Plus, the white, white metallic silver. So, here they are. And obviously, if I'm going to have shoes, I picked up these socks. They are just white, um, and they have, like, the cushion in them because um, I get tired from walking, running, sprinting, skipping. Just anything that deals with using your feet. I get tired really fast, and my feet hurt, so I just got some regular plain white socks. So the next thing I got is from Academy. Um, I was looking for a small backpack because I only have four classes and um, all of my backpacks have been big and my arms, like shoulders, they hurt really bad. Like, um, I'm not very, I'm not the strongest as you can tell. I don't like using my feet, using my arms. It's just no activities. So I got this yellow backpack. I think it's really pretty because it's like bright and I don't know, I just wanted to do something bold since it's just my last year. And I like it because it's actually yellow and gray and I've never really seen that combination before. But yeah, usually my backpacks have a lot of compartments, but this one is just one, two. And then I ordered this pencil case from Amazon. You're probably thinking, isn't that so extra? Like, can you just get it at Walmart Target? No, I wanted it to be pink and to have a lot of compartments because I like to be organized. Like I color coordinate everything, like the rainbow. So, you know, red, pink, like all the way to purple. I like myself to be coordinated and organized because I have anxiety, which kind of leads to me overthinking about everything. So everything needs to be exactly how I want it. Here are my notebooks. So my Walmart and Target didn't really have a lot of different colors this year. Usually I get like, you know, rainbow colors, like the main four, but, but they didn't really have those. So my first class is biology, so I got blue, even though I think science is green, but whatever. And then my next class is math, which I think is red, but whatever. It's this cute little peachy orange color. And then my next class is English. I got this pretty yellow. And I usually give like my favorite colors to my favorite class. And I hate all my classes, but I guess I like English the most. And then for history, I got blue. <laughs> oh 
Um, it's something about that smack I did, it just flew everything in my mouth. And then this is my color for history, which I actually agree with. And then I just got this black folder and I'm packing my backpack with you guys, but honestly, I'm just gonna bring this black folder with maybe some paper in it cause I'm not gonna hurt my shoulders the first day of school. It's just, it's not happening cause you barely do anything the first day. But watch this year, the one time I don't bring it. Okay, maybe I'll bring one notebook, but yeah, it's, yeah, I'm not bringing all that. Then I've got my calculator and pencils, pens, all that, and we're gonna pack that. And I also got a books from Books A Million. It's the third of that series I was telling you guys about in my video. I finished the second one. I'll talk about that in another video, but yeah, I finally got the last book and this is gonna be my school book. And the next thing I got was uniform. Yes, I am one of those students that doesn't have free dress. I have a dress code, which is uniform. <sighs> I don't wanna talk about it, it makes me depressed because we all know I like makeup, I like fashion, and it would honestly, I would eat everybody up if I was allowed to dress how I want. But that's a story for another day. So I got these uniform pants, I had tried them on. These are from Aeropostal. Um, they're just high rise jeggings. I got the 4S, which is, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know what that is, but 4S, so I got four of those. And then I have Aeropostal shirts. I have this white one, it's a small, it's um, white. And then I also have red ones but I just wanted to show you guys the one I'll be wearing to my first day of school. And then while I was at H&M, I was looking, well, while I was out of town, I was looking for a black and white jacket. I have jackets, but I don't have, you know, the, um, the basic colors. But when I was in H&M, I found this white zip-up hoodie jacket. It's so nice and comfortable. I got it in a large, I think. Yeah, I have it in a large. I really like it. And then that is when I took my braids down that I had for Florida. And we're done taking my hair down. It looks like. And I washed my hair and then I got my clippings put in. I was gonna have colored hair, like I had a whole section of this video about me dyeing the hair, but it didn't turn out right, but I am bleaching it again. Um, they're my other clip-ins, my longer ones, these are my short ones. I don't think I even, I think I addressed, well, in my, my summer get ready with me, that was my first time with my short ones. So this is what we're rocking this year, and once we fix my other clip-ins, then we're gonna have the colored hair. But for now, I wanted to try something new. I did a little swoop, bang type thing. And yeah, I don't really know how I feel about it. It's my first day. It takes me like a week to get used to stuff. So we'll see how I'm feeling. But right now I kind of like it. I had got my nails and toes done for school. I'm trying to see if I should get this color or if I should get this color. But I'll probably get 69. This is the inspiration. I got this really pretty baby pink color. And then on the thumb, middle, and pinky, I got this metallic color to go across from them. And then on the ring and pointer, I got little diamonds so that every nail was filled with something. I love them so much. They're so cute and they're coffin. Yeah, I really like them. Um, shout out to my guy, Joe. He did them. <laughs> he did them. He ate them up. Like these are the best nails I've had since my birthday, like two years ago. And that's, that's crazy because I've been going to the nail shop since and doing my own nails, but we already knew Joe was gonna do better than me. But anyways, yeah, these are my best nails. I actually thought his name was Fig, Figs. You know, like the little, 
I thought this man name was Figs. That's just the company of the clothing. I was really finna be like, thank you, Figs. And then my mom asked for his name. He was like, Joe. I was like, that's that's a way better name. But you know. <sighs> thank you, Joe. So um also my toes are like a French tip. I've never had it. Why did I do it like that? I've never had a French tip toe before, but I think they're so cute. And I actually think they kind of suit me. Like, it looks kind of fancy or whatever. So, yeah. And then the last thing that I did was my eyelash extensions at home version. I think they're really cute. I even gave you guys, like, a little tutorial. Hi, guys. I look a little rough right now. But um, I'm doing my lashes for school. Um, in a video of mine, I've talked about how I'm too scared to get eyelash extensions because I don't want mine to fall off. And I found a way to make my own eyelash extensions. Um, it's basically the same thing that I used to do, which is add an extra lash at the end of my already lashes. But this time, I have a glue and they stay on longer. Mine stay on for about three days because I sleep wild. But I'm sure you can uh, finesse it to stay on for like a week. I'm going to show you guys everything I used and then like. You know, then I'll like, I'm gonna show you the products, then do use the products. <laughs> okay. So the glue that I use is the Bond and Seal Falscara by Kiss. This is what it looks like. So the Bond size is black and that's the glue. And then the seal side is clear and that's how you seal it all together. And the lashes I'm using are the v Lux extended 3d 3d extended full glam look curled lashes from amazon i'll try to link them down below and then i'm using my kiss trio lash this is what these look like um was that upside down i think i put them i put them i put it back together to show you guys like what it looks like and it's, it's upside down <laughs> And then I recently got the, you know, my Dollar Tree lashes, the Ions, but these are the little tiny ones. There's short, medium, and long for the V-Lux, and I used the long, large ones, which is the third row. I used one of those. And then with my Kiss lashes, I used the medium, and I used two of those. And then with my ion ones, I use only one at the front. First, I've started curling my lashes now because I feel like it'll make the application a little easier if my lashes aren't going everywhere and I know exactly like, you know, where they are and so that the glue doesn't get stuck to my lashes, which would just make them harder to remove and you would lose eyelashes in the process. And trust me, I have, so. I'm just curling these really, 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 really good. Take my little lash spoolie just to kind of make sure they're not all stuck together because we're going to put glue over them and then the glue will get stuck to them. And I'm just going to put it at the end of my lashes. I get to the root of it because you want to get it as close as possible to your actual lash. Instead of putting them on like lashes, you're going to put it under and so when you put the bond on you need to put it on top not on the bottom you need to put it on the top like it's sitting up i don't know if it does anything but i just kind of go like this because i'm used to doing that with my lashes to get tacky but i don't know if you really have to do it or anything Then I'm just gonna take the bond again and I'm just gonna put it on all the lashes again just to make sure that they're all glued together and it's all, you know, nice. And I'm just gonna do the same thing with the seal side. But that is how I do my little lash extensions. I've only done this like, mm, I think this is only like my third or fourth time. Just use my fan or you can use a mirror to kind of make sure that it's all dry and in place. 
and wash my makeup brushes. Um, they're like all around me right now. I washed all of them. It took me so long. I didn't show this, but I like did the same like skin and body prep as my Florida one. You know, shaving my face, face mask, scrubs, shaving my body. Like I did all of that. Um, I just didn't want to show it again because I didn't want to have a, like a repeat, you know. That's everything I did to prepare for school this year and my last year um senior year make sure you guys are ready for all these videos because we're gonna have the graduation the prom the homecoming week again like i did last year we're we're going to embrace this last year even though i hate school more than anyone but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this prep video coming along with me for the course of like about a week or two of getting ready for school and um be on the lookout for my first day of school video well last day of school video um i'm going to film my first day and talk about how it was so hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment subscribe share with your friends and family and remember to be kind to your mind body and soul and i will see you guys in my next one bye